Good morning. This feels so weird. It's Monday the 4th of dis what? It's Monday the 4th of January. We're in 2016, new year, the year of my 21st. And as you can tell, I am so ill. I am so, so ill. This is just like even talking right now is a massive effort. <coughs> Skiing has absolutely broken me. I'm a broken person, <laughs> but it was honestly, when I say this, it was the best, one of the best weeks of my entire life. I made so many memories, I met so many amazing people, we did flipping awesome stuff, we got up to some crazy adventures, crazy, crazy times, which if you guys haven't watched the ski video, you should go and watch it because it kind of shows you some of the adventures that we got up to. Um, but man, it was crazy. It was the best week ever. It was phenomenal. Um, and yeah, it was just amazing. But I am so ill now. I'm so unbelievably ill. I've got this bowl with hot water in it. I've been doing steam inhalations to try and get my cold out. I have no energy. I'm just absolutely broken, which is a really bad timing because I've got two really, really, really important exams coming up. I've got one on the 15th in 11 days time and one on the 19th and I'm I'm broke I'm just so ill and I'm finding it really difficult concentrating like this morning I've just been doing logistical stuff replying to emails that sort of stuff but this afternoon I need to start on my revision because I feel like I'm behind everyone else um but yeah I'm just I'm not in a good place. I just keep re-watching all my Snapchats and videos and stuff of like the nights out, the socials, the apres ski. I just miss it so much. It was just amazing. I just had the best time ever. And I'm so glad that everyone that was there went because everyone just made it. It was, it was amazing. And it was so cool to have New Year's Eve over there. And it's like extra memories and stuff. And that's the best New Year's Eve I've ever had hands down um and like we got such a, a good amount of skiing in and if you do watch the video you'll see that there's not loads and loads of snow because all of the alps like france and italy have not had very good snow whilst we've been there and then the flipping day after we leave it snows literally a meter like i'm looking on photos of val Torrens, and where there was no snow there's literally a meter of snow now but I don't really mind because I was still able to do all the skiing that I wanted to. Every single part of it was just amazing. Went out every night and skied every day and skied on New Year's Day and just did so many fun things. And although the video doesn't show everything that we did, I've tried to show you a bit of everything from every single day. But there was one day where we did apres ski. Basically what apres ski... For those of you who haven't been skiing before or haven't been on like... A young person's ski trip. Um, Apre ski is basically between sort of like three and five or six o'clock every day. All of the bars um, put massive DJs on and everyone just basically dances in their ski boots. Like you'll ski to the bar, um, plant your skis and poles outside or your board outside and then you'll walk in with your ski boots on and your sunglasses on and whoa zoom, whoa zoom. And you'll dance on the tables of like the outside bars and stuff and there was one place, uh, well no there was two places, um, Folly and Bar 360 are amazing for apres ski. Um, I personally loved um, Bar 360 because um, we had a little bit more space and it was literally just all my uni ski trip. But it was basically all of my uni, so all of us and our friends. And it was our mountain challenge day, valley rally day. So we were all in animal onesies. And we literally took over at Pro Ski at this place and just danced so hard. Um, it was just amazing. Um, and like, uh, we did games on the mountain where the social sex, like, th there was a few drinking games that we had to do and a few like normal games that we did when we skied to each place. Um, like no one was like drunk but everyone was just so happy um, and it was phenomenal and if you go and watch the ski video you'll just see how much fun we're having 
Um, there is a f like quite a few of the clips uh, that I put on the ski video are Snapchats, so they don't take up the entire screen, but I, I wanted to put them in just so you guys could kind of see how much fun we were having. And then there are normal clips that I took on the proper side of my phone, and like I, I use the GoPro as well. Um, but if there's one video of mine I can recommend you to watch, it's the ski video because I just had the best time of my life and I think you can tell in the video because we're all just constantly smiling and like I've made some genuinely really good friends that I honestly feel like I'm going to be friends with for a really long time and I'm so happy about that. Um, yeah, I'm just so glad that the people that went went because it was just the, the best and I'm so excited to see them when I go back to uni as well and we're having a reunion soon and it's just going to be epic. But yeah. This has literally taken all of my energy just talking to you guys then. Good morning, it's Tuesday and I'm still very ill. <laughs> That's so gross. I'm so ill guys. I did something very exciting this morning and I entered a competition. I never, ever, ever do this because I never, ever win, but I um, was added on Instagram by someone that goes to uni with me at a competition being put on by Rimmel London, and it's I think it's like to meet Rita Ora or go to YouTube space in London, and it just sounds so cool, so I uploaded a photo. Um, I think the link is working, but I would really, really, really appreciate it. The competition is running until 8th of February, um, so I guess when you guys see this on Sunday, it, the competition will still be going on. So if it's one thing that I can ask of you guys, it would be to vote for me. It literally takes one minute. I'm going to keep the link in my Instagram, um, and I've put it on my Twitter and stuff, and I'll pin it on my... Twitter and I would really appreciate if you guys could go and vote for me because I, I never do anything like this so if I could maybe I mean I'm not going to get ahead of myself but how cool would it be if I won so I'll show so this is my entry this one here so all you have to do is literally so we're on my Twitter now and we'll just go into my profile and what we will do is, let's pin it. So I've pinned it to my profile, guys. So you will be able to get to this easily. So if you could literally just click on this link here, it'll take you to this page when it loads. And all you have to do is click here. All you have to do is click here. I don't know why it says there's no votes because I've had at least 10 people tell me that they voted. But I would really, really appreciate if you guys could vote for me. It would just be so cool if I won it. I mean, I never win anything and I'm, to be honest, not expecting to win this, but I just thought, why not? Let's just give it a try. If you could, if you could spare one minute to vote for me, you saw how quick that would take you. Just go onto my Twitter, click the link and click the little crown and vote for me. I would really, really appreciate it because it would just be so cool. But I just wanted to check in with you guys anyway, just because it's a new day. I'm not doing anything. <coughs> Still ill. Um, I had breakfast, I'm just making myself another cup of tea, green tea, because I'm trying to just drink as many fluids as possible. As you can tell, I'm really nasally right now. And I'm about to start on my revision. I've told myself after lunch I'll start my revision, so I'm gonna get my cup of tea, um, have another little browse, do a few more links and stuff for this. Um, have lunch and then I'll start on my revision because my exams are in like 10 days time. So I just made a quick ratatouille for dinner and I'm just going to put this in the oven on low and slow and we're going to have this with pork chops and sweet potato for dinner this evening. So it's just got um, red onion, courgette, red and yellow pepper, tomato, chopped tomatoes, a bunch of garlic and water in it and that's going to be dinner this evening. Oh, 
Okay, pause that for a memento. Um, <coughs> oh, lovely. Um, it's Thursday now, and um, it's half past 12, and I've got the dentist today at 2.15. Um, so I put on some makeup because I'm not going to be wearing makeup for ages, so I put on some makeup to go to the dentist. Um, I really need to get into revision, like, big time. I need to really start because I'm feeling a bit behind. But I just got another grade back today and I got 65, so that's really good. Um, and also... I am slowly creeping up in the ranks of the Rimmel London competition. Please, 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 can you guys vote for me? When I first started, when I first put my vote in, I didn't really think anything of it. But now, I'm really, really, really determined and I really want to win. So please, please, can you vote for me? Can you share the link to anyone and everyone? Please. I never do anything like this and I would really, really appreciate your guys' support. It would mean everything to me if I could even come close to winning. Um, I've got a long way to go. There's literally like 900 points or 900 votes between me and getting to where the, the current leader is. Um, so I really don't think I'm going to win, but I would really, really appreciate your guys' support um, if you could help me out. I would really, really appreciate that. It's still raining. I got zero sleep. Well, I got very, very minimal sleep last night. I just couldn't get to sleep. I was just thinking about so many different things um, and I just couldn't get to sleep. And uh, I don't know whether I told you guys that for my 21st, I don't want to have like a big birthday party. I don't want to have like a big 21st because that's just, although I love, as you guys know, I love to go out and party. Um, being the centre of attention for a party and having my own party gives me a lot of anxiety just because... Um, like if I don't invite some people and then I do invite some people and then if so, where do I have it and how do people get there and where do people stay and all that stuff. I mean, if I was a billionaire, then I would have one because I could just pay for a hotel and all of my friends and family could stay in this hotel and it would be amazing. But I ain't a millionaire, so I'm not going to be able to do that. Um, so for my 21st, I decided I wanted to do 21 things for my 21st. Um, and I'm not saying like I wanted to do 21 holidays or 21 whatevers, but lots of little things like last night I was thinking of some of this stuff and I want to I wanna stroke a giraffe because if you guys know me, you'll know that a giraffe, giraffes are my favourite animal. My favourite, 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 favourite animal of all time are giraffes, closely followed by owls and goats, but a giraffe is my number one um, and I want to go to a zoo and I want to pet and feed a giraffe. Um, and what I want to do is I want to get a Polaroid camera and I want to take a photo of each of the 21 things and then I can make like a memory album of my 21 things I did for my 21st because for some people they don't want to have a big 21st but I do want to do something that's memorable I want to do something so I can look back and think oh god yeah my 21st is actually really cool and I want to have as many people involved as possible and I've just thought of an idea. Maybe I'll maybe as one of my 21 things I'll do a meetup. I don't think I don't think I have enough like people that watch me that would want to come to a meetup that are all in a similar place. How cool would that be though? And then we can all take a Polaroid picture together. Thinking like a Polaroid picture. But that would be awesome. But yeah, so I'm going to the dentist. I'm going to have some lunch now and then I'm going to go to the dentist. So that's Z. Whoa, we're back in my car. We haven't had a car vlog for a while, have we? No, we haven't. And that is why. Ah, this thing is so, I forgot how annoying this thing was. I'm gonna have to buy a new one. I can't keep doing this, it's so annoying. My radio is broken as well, which is great. Why has it done this? Oh, here we go. Okay, well, I'm going to drive to the dentist without you guys because this flipping car holder is rubbish. Mm. 
so I just got to town and I'm just going to nip to the bank to put a check in because I'm early for my appointment. I've got about 15 minutes. So I'm just going to nip to Le Banc and um, that's about it really. Good morning. Wow, I'm in my dressing gown again. What a surprise. Um, I have just had breakfast. I just had salmon and spinach again and I'm on my second cup of green tea which is my favourite thing. And um, a couple of days ago, I ordered some stuff from Feel Unique. Um, I want to get into skincare because I've never really been one for skincare. I know I'm all about the makeup um, and I think it's really important to have good skincare, especially when you put so much stuff on your face. And I do notice when I have good skin and when I don't have good skin. When I was younger, I was, I, I always had good skin. I never had spots or anything. It's only really been since I've got older. And the two things that cause me bad skin is drinking alcohol and my diet. And now I'm back from skiing. Um, I, I mean, we were going out, we were drinking every single night. Um, we weren't eating the best food. So those two things combined led to not the best skin and as you can see I've still got a few spots here that I'm trying to get rid of um, and I've never really like it sounds really stupid but I've never really understood skincare like I, I don't have oily skin I have dry to like combo skin like I'll occasionally get like a tiny bit of oil here um, but generally I just have normal skin it's not really dry and it's not really oily it's just normal the only thing that i ever see wrong with my skin is stuff that um i cannot change like my kp my keratosis pilaris rubriface which is my redness um and then i have really bad like hollow under eyes and i've always had that even when i look back on um photos from when i'm a child I always have these like sunken hollows and that is just part of my biological makeup. There is nothing I can do to change that. There are no creams, there, are, there is no amount of sleep or good eating or anything that can change this. This is just my genetic makeup. I got it from my mum and it's just how I am and I'm fine with it. I know how to cover it up and it's fine. Um, but, and, and as I said, I never really struggled with acne, so I never really had to pay that much attention to my skin, which I'm so, I'm so thankful for because acne is such an awful thing to deal with and I know how much it can knock people's confidence. And my, personally, my confidence was knocked from my keratosis pilaris. I'll always remember my friend when I was at school. I was probably year 10. And, um, <coughs> and I said, right, I'm not going to wear any face makeup to school today. I'm just going to wear some mascara. And it's going to be fine. I'm going to be absolutely fine. My mum told me I look beautiful, so I'm going to be fine. So I went to school, and I remember I was walking to Ari, and he opened the door and said, Ellie, what happened to your face? Are you, are you okay? You look ill. And that just absolutely knocked my confidence because I was trying to step out of my comfort zone and not wear foundation and then to be told that I looked ill and had something wrong with me just resonated and was like well you need to wear foundation then don't need to cover this up all throughout school or, or all throughout up to like GCSE which is 16 years old I never really understood what good foundation was I didn't really try anything out I just tried what all the other girls were using which was like dream matte mousse which was shit it was terrible for my skin. It didn't work well at all. It didn't give me the coverage that I needed. It like, it, if anything, emphasized my redness and my bumps. It was just awful and I had no idea about it. And that was when I really started to get into makeup. Um, but now I've realized I really do want to try and get into skincare. Every, anytime I watch favorites videos and they talk and people talk about skincare, I'm like, meh, I don't really care about that. It doesn't really mean anything to me. Um, the only thing that I have actually, I mean, I have, I do have a skincare routine, which is when I get up, I wash my face, I, I tone and then I moisturize and that's literally it. I just use normal moisturizer. It's only since I went to Beautycon and I got the Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish Hot Cloth Cleanser 
that I really sort of tried something different that was skincare related. Um, and I remember I was with Ash at the time and Shiv and Holly and they were all like, you're going to try this and it's going to be amazing. And I did. I tried it that night when I got home, when we got back to Ash's after Beautycon, I tried it and I was like, holy shit, this is amazing. This makes my skin feel so good. Um, so I went on to Feel Unique and I basically just repurchased it because I was like, I haven't got any, I haven't even got um, a face wash at the moment. I'm stealing my dad's. <laughs> but it's an exfoliator and I don't, and it's not good to use exfoliators every day. So um, I just bought this. So this is the first full size one I've got. I've got like the travel size one. I got two travel size ones, which were gifted at Beautycon. Um, the other thing is I've never really wanted to spend a lot of money on skincare, which goes back to when I've had good skin, I've never felt the need to spend lots of money on skincare. I'd rather spend lots of money on makeup that I know will make me look pretty. Um, and I never really thought it'd make that much of a difference, but I really, really, really want to get into proper skincare. So I bought this and then, oh geez. Um, and then I went onto the sale and I'm not sure whether these actually came out to be in the sale. I think they might've charged me full price for them. Bought two, First Aid Beauty. The only person I've ever really heard talk about First Aid Beauty is Nicole Guerrero, and I flipping love her. Um, so I saw this and I was like, ah, oh, okay, this rings a bell. So this is one of their, and I'm guessing this is why it was on sale because it's one of their holiday sets. So they're just trying to like get rid of the stock or whatever. Um, so I got this. Wait. So this is Fab Holiday Cheers First Aid. Wait. Meh. Oh. Uh, Ultra Repair Cream, a, a rich whipped emollient that hydrates deep down with exceptional penetration. Uh, directions, blah, blah, blah. Uh, face cleanser, a luxurious irritant free cleanser that removes makeup, dirt and grime. Um, this is the one that I was really excited for. Ultra Repair Lip Therapy. Um, moisturize, protect and help repair because I've been getting really dry lips recently especially when I was skiing and just before skiing. I don't really know why, but um, yeah, I'm really excited to try that. And then the other thing that's included is Skin Rescue Purifying Mask. I also want to get into masks. I've never really been one for masks and I see like the Glam Glow masks all around and I've never, I've never really been into it because I'm like, that's a lot of money to spend on a mask. Like it's a lot of money. Um, so in just 20 minutes, the mask purifies the complexion. As the mask is peeled away, the skin emerges smoother, softer, while pores appear visibly reduced. Um, so I'm very excited to try this. And then the other thing I got from uh, First Aid Beauty was um, a facial cleanser, which looks like this. Like I said, I don't have a face wash at the moment, so I needed to stock up. So this... Um, a luxurious, irritant-free cleanser that removes makeup, dirt, and grime. I think... Is there one of these in here? Face cleanser? Okay, well, I think I've got double then, which is good. Um, hopefully, it'll work well with me. And then also uh, comes with it facial radiance pads. Exfoliate and improve skin clarity in a single swipe. Um, wipe pad across face, neck once or twice after... Oh, so after cleansing. So, I'm excited for them. And then I just bought... Um, Oh no, a Rimmel Scandalized Coal Liner because I don't have any black coal liners now. And I also just repurchased the Stay Matte in Transparent because I've actually been going back to this quite a lot. I've run out of so much makeup, guys. Like, I've not bought new makeup for ages and ages. And I'm proud of myself because, oh wait, no, that's a complete lie actually, isn't it? I have bought a lot of makeup recently. Um... But I, have, I haven't been buying setting powders. I've just been using up what I've got. I just use my Anastasia Beverly Hills. And then I found this guy a while ago, but I broke his lid, I broke his, like, his top case. So I haven't been able to transport him with me. Um, and I hit pan on him and stuff. So I just wanted to buy another one and it's so cheap. I thought it might, might as well. And I've really been enjoying it. Um, so, so that is everything I bought and Bruce told me, he was like, keep an eye out on the post because he didn't buy me a Christmas present and I was like, I really, 
I don't really care, but I would like something that was thoughtful because he asked me what I wanted. Um, should I sit you on top of here? Is that going to work? Huh. Um, you're sat on top of the cleanse and polish. I feel like my camera's going to fall. Anyway, um, so I was talking to him at Christmas and he went, like you guys saw in the vlog, when we went to the market, he was like, I've not bought anyone Christmas presents. And if you saw my face, I was like, what? Um... Because I'd obviously, I'd bought all of their Christmas presents. And I love giving, but I'm also a Pisces. And my star sign explains me so perfectly. I'm, I'm caring. I can be lazy. I can be a procrastinator. But, like, I will give you my whole heart. And I kind of expect that in return. And because I'm, not to, like, toot my own horn, but I, I'm quite a thoughtful person and I'm very caring... And when that isn't, um, like, given back to me, it's quite hard for me to deal with. Um, and so he said to me, we went shopping, and he was like, just tell me what you want and I'll buy it for you. Um, and I was like, I don't want something that I can buy. I've got money. I can buy things that I want myself. I want you to be thoughtful and I want you to actually think of me. <coughs> and <clears throat> I would way rather have something that you have genuinely thought about and Sam thought, oh, Elle might actually really like this. I know it's a bit weird, but I'm thinking of her and I'm, I think she might actually really like this rather than, oh, I'll spend 200 pounds on you and I'll buy you a pair of heels or I'll buy you a bag or I'll buy you makeup. Like I can buy all that. There isn't that much thought that goes into it, but I really, really appreciate thoughtfulness, especially now that he's moved away um, and it's down in Brighton. The time that we spend together is so precious to me because he is one of my best friends and I value him so much. Like, we're very, very close. Like, I will tell him all of my boy problems, all of my girl problems, like, everything that I'm struggling with, I will talk to him about. He'll do the same with me, pretty much. I'm, going back to the Pisces, I'm like a massive oversharer. I'm a massive heart on my sleeve person. I can't keep things bottled up. That's why I often rant to you guys, because even if there's no one else in my life that wants to hear about it, I can still talk to you guys because I like sharing things. Like, I'm a massive oversharer. What a tangent. Why have I just talked to you guys? This is what I mean. This is why I'm such an oversharer. Like, I'm talking to you about first day beauty and now I'm talking to you about how I appreciate thoughtfulness. Like, <coughs> But anyway, enough of that rant or ramble or whatever it was, chit chat. Do you guys like it when I just sit and talk to you? Because I don't want to put all this just rambling shit out there if you guys just want to skip past it and not um listen to me talking so um let me know if you actually like my random ramblings uh yes but now i'm watching the new episode of lip sync battle with jenna dewan tatum and channing tatum and it's the best thing i've ever seen in my life and uh i'm just gonna have a little delve through these first aid beauty things and then get on with some revision. Good morning, it's Saturday morning. No, it's not, it's Saturday actual afternoon. It's two, why can I not read? It's 20 past 12 and I am gonna go and do some revision now and then me and Jose are gonna go for a drink and a catch up because I haven't seen her for ages and I'm probably not gonna see her again for a while. So she's picking me up at two and then we're going to go for a little drink, a sober drink because I've got to come back and revise. So I'm going to go get like a coffee or a smoothie or something and just catch up with her because I miss her and I haven't seen her for ages. So we're doing that so I guess, mm -hmm. sorry about that draw. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do, do some revision now and then, um, and then I'll see Jace. So I'll talk to you guys when I'm with Jace I guess. I'll vlog in the car when I'm with her. Yay. We can vlog her driving. <laughs> Look who I'm with! <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Thieves! Yeah. Um, we just had a nice lunch at the cafe. Now it's raining, if you couldn't, couldn't tell. It's uh, raining a lot. We love the English weather, but we're having a nice catch-up. Absolutely not. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm just finding out what Joyce wants for her birthday because it's her birthday soon because we're into the year of 21s now. That's oh, yeah, what we realised yeah. it's like everyone's 21st this year. It's mine in like two months. 
so I just wanted to come on here and end the vlog. It's Saturday night now, so I need to edit this and upload it. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I've just done fresh sheets on my bed. And um, yeah, please, please vote for me. I'm in 11th. 11. I'm in 11th place for the Rimmel competition. Please, please, please vote for me. It would mean so much to me if I was in a chance for winning, but I'm in 11th place now, so it really is in sight. Please vote for me. The link is literally just down there. All you need to do is click the link, scroll down, and click the crown next to my picture. I would really, really appreciate it. You can also vote once a day. Um, I think it closes in a few weeks, so I think we have a few more days to go. So please, even if you just vote once, you don't have to vote once a day, but even if you just vote once, it'll take you one minute to do. Please, please, please. I never really ask that much of you guys, so I'd really, really appreciate it if you could vote for me. It would mean so much to me, and I would be so grateful to all of you. Um, I don't think there's anything else I have to say though, other than please go and vote, go and share this video, go and share the link with all your family and friends, anyone that's willing to help a sister out, please help me. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next one.